the ocean swallowed Atlantis. And before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. <laughs> this boar's hide is as tough as mine. Conan needs to chase them down quicker, so they don't build up such thick muscles. Say that the next time you're hungry. <laughs> When Zevin and I went to the last village for supplies, they spoke of a beast who roams the labyrinth of hills and canyons. The beast has taken his share of blood. They say the tribes here sacrifice children to this thing to curb its anger. I hope it waits until we have full stomachs. Why couldn't there be pleasant sounds and thoughts to go to sleep on? <sighs> like women calling from the hills who adore charming and intelligent men with beards. It seems like our friend had a little bit too much grog to drink last night. <laughs> I, Zevin, maybe it was the grog and the dream demon that invaded his head. <laughs> if you had seen what I did with the head of a... Uh, with the head of a bear and the body of a man, I... We've heard it all morning. Is that the beast there? Or there? Or there? Bio 7. Look at this. You can now close that drawbridge jaw of yours. <laughs> what happened to you? My family. They've been attacked by bandits. My wife, and children, little ones. Please, please hurry. I'll catch up. I just need to rest. Please help them. Tell them far. Far. Wait here. I'll be back. We are here. 
to help you. Pass it us. Wait. He used Var's name. Come forward. Where is Var? He's exhausted. But he will return. They have my children. What happened here? Bandits. They attacked and ran up with the little ones. Seven, find the tracks. It is the beast. As we heard in the villages, there's supposed to be a beast in these hills, and the tribes people here sell children as sacrifices to its honor. There is no <sighs> such thing, my sister. <laughs> then what is that? It looks like the one we saw on the lower path. Two horses are making their way to the hills, quickly. Please, bring me back my children. We'll get them back. My friend has spoke for all of us. No, Zeb. We leave the horses. You leave at least one man here for protection until Bar returns. The hills ahead go higher, the ground rougher. I would only slow you down. My friend may be small, but don't misjudge his fierceness. While you are here, find out which one finds me most attractive. The one that finds you most attractive? Is you. <laughs> they will be back soon, I'm sure. Two horses. And now one rider's gotten down and is walking. leading the horse. They're not moving quickly. Why? Maybe he thinks he's safe. Maybe. Maybe. Where are you from? The southern region, near the Great Sea, where I... Once labored for a petty sorcerer. Do you have the powers of magic? Only if charm and intelligence are signs of magic. Hmm. He has humor. The men you are with, the large one. Connor. Is he a great warrior? There are none greater. No five greater, for that matter. He's quite handsome. Hmm. I wonder if his wit and intelligence match his size. It's Bar. He improves each day under my watchful eye. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I see they left the small one behind. He may be small, but don't misjudge his fierceness. <laughs> <laughs> well, how is your wound? You look surprised, small man. <laughs> my wound miraculously disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rabbit blood. My children. Help me save my children. <laughs> well, you don't look like much of a meal. But let's hope you please the beast's belly. <laughs> Have you noticed there are very few rabbits or birds? The beast has frightened them off. That is not what concerns me. It's true. They're moving very slowly for people trying to escape. And why would they split and weaken themselves? Perhaps they don't know we're following. Or perhaps 
they do. Seven, you stay here and guard this way. Bayou, you take this road. I will take the other one. Do you think it is wise for us to separate? It is the only way to find what we are looking for. is deep into the forest. There's no trail that my friends can't follow. How worried I am. An hour in a cooking pot will soften up that flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Celia tells me you claim to be famous for your charm and intelligence. He doesn't seem to be that charming so far. <laughs> <laughs> that wound you pretended to have was nothing compared to the one you will have when Conan runs you through. One slight press, my friend, and I can put a doorway through that skull of yours for the snakes to crawl through. child is or I will end your miserable life if I were you I would put the knife down and if I were you I would let him go I thought you both went up the road true then we saw your weapons reflect the sun well I'll remember that for next time only if we let you live for a next time why do you want to kill my friend you murderers know well enough Searching for me. I left them where the road separates. I set my pack horse up one trail. Then I walked up the other. Double back, found my horse, across the river came here. I let the other horse go. Good. That will give us enough time to get to the compound. But make sure we leave a clear trail. Little friend, we didn't want to make it impossible for your friends to follow. <laughs> the horses need food and water. Let's uh, rest here. Yes. long enough to make a good run of it. Remember that. <laughs> Why do you call us murderers? You know as well as I. When you asked Zebin where the child was, what did you mean? First, you kill my sister and her husband. You steal their son. You leave my uncle, her husband, to die, and you ask why we call you murderers! Please don't! If we are murderers, why are you still alive? We are in these hills for only one reason. We came across a wounded man and two women who'd been attacked by bandits. We can't help. What are you thinking? When I found my husband, he was almost dead. He told me the same story. They had come upon a wounded man. He said his women were being attacked. Two women. And when they got to the wagon, the women said their children had been taken. And he... 
He... My uncle went to look. When he returned, they were killing my sister and her husband and taking their son to feed to some beast that they say is roaming in the hills. You think this could be some sort of trap? It is a trap. Otley's no bigger than a small child. Do you think they meant to feed him to the... Do you he think... must move! Quickly! <laughs> You're too much of a man to be called boy. What's your name? Ida. And you're too brave to be taken so easily. How'd you become a prisoner? They said they needed help against the bandits who stole their children. My family tried to help them. They killed my parents and left my uncle to die. I'm sorry. Eat. You'll need your strength. Why? To be that for the beast? I, too, was snared like a rabbit. Although rabbits can escape a snare. Maybe even two rabbits. Now eat. him here to guard this. We follow them. Now! Something to relish. Something to remember. History will grant you that. I am history and the present. And history will say what I wish it to say. And no more. Of course. Of course. Of course, oh great one. Why don't you just shut up? I've never seen a full-grown man so tiny before. Are there any others like you in your family? No. All the others in my family are tall. Why are you small, then? I believe the great spirit that made us felt there was a need for us, a place. I try to prove him right. Such a pretty child. A mother could grow fond of you. 
You killed my mother. Yes. And tomorrow night, you'll be nothing more than this bone. Nothing to say? <laughs> Take your clothes and dress the boy. And what would the beast know? Hmm? Would Conan know when he saw someone dressed like you tied to the pillar waiting for the beast? <laughs> Be careful, little man. No more trouble. Or the boy will take your place. <laughs> He says he doesn't like it. They make it too easy for us to follow. This is a perfect place for an ambush. I'll go ahead and look. No. Ours is a race of fierce hunters. And we women are as skilled as the men. I can see that. You stay here and rest. And I'll go ahead. Where are you going? There are some things that a woman prefers to do in private. We should stay together. You heard. We women can take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. She was indeed a great hunter. Her knife drew the blood of the beast before she died. They lay out a plan to take me so they can snare Conan. And they take you, in case something happens to me, to trick Conan to believe you are me. Who would want Conan? Who could conceive of such a plan? There's only one man that knows all of us. Just one who would spin such a web as this. This is all. We must escape. Whoa! Shh, Utley, they might hear. Come, look at this! Drink it. Drink it. Drink it, please. Drink it for a blind man. Silence only. Are you friends? Or something else. Uh, we're. Uh, you're. You're in the presence of. Of a. Royal. Uh, hunting party. Royal <laughs> hunting party. <laughs> Royal yes. hunting yes. party. And, uh, <laughs> what are you hunting? What are we hunting? We're hunting the beast. The beast? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, isn't it? Me. No! And what will his source say when you fail? 
What? You need me alive. You're a smart one. How did you know about his Hazur? Because I have what you lack. A mind. Well, mind this, little man. Try to escape again, and I'll slit the boy's throat before your eyes. There is a fight here, all right. Blood. Oh, Ita. We do not know whose blood that is. Remember, our friend may be small, but he can stay. Well, if that is true, then why do they not kill him? Why? They want us to follow. Yes, they keep Otley alive. To lead us into the country of the beast. What sorcery is this? He's Azul. His traps never end. I've heard of such a one. Oh. In the villages to the north, there's a wizard with a castle. And a few have entered. Those foolish enough to try, never return. It is whispered that he speaks to the skulls of the dead, and that his power is stronger than the thunder, and more horrifying than fire or flood or death. We have seen his magic, and we are still alive. Zeban's right. If it's his Azul, it's not Otley they're after. It's you. If it's me they want, it's me they will get. Let's go! Hold fast your spirits. These rabbits aren't cooked yet. supplies and valuables. <laughs> what? What will I do? <laughs> we have extra food and water. Oh. You are kind. Maybe you can help us. How can a blind man alone in this wilderness help you? There's a party of bandits. We've followed the tracks here. Ah, uh, these are very bad people. Why are they following them? A friend and a boy. Are they prisoners? They're to be sacrificed to the beast. Two men and two women that robbed me. They had a small man with him. He had a beard. And a boy with sandy colored hair. That's his time. How did you know our friend was a small man with a beard? And the boy had sandy hair. Ah, uh, an old man alone in such a wilderness might be safer pretending to be blind. So, what else can I do for you? Blind men who can see, you have done enough. They are going to the hills, to a compound in the hills, near the maze of the beast. How do you know this? I heard them. I saw them when their horses reached the hilltop. I know this compound. It is well guarded. Strangers could not get into it easily. What do you have in mind? Blind man.
If Otley and the boy are in there and we charge the place, they're sure to be killed. We have to enter quietly. Now it's time for you to lose your sight again. I will find them. And then I'll get the gate open. Good luck. Blind man. <laughs> Wait over there. Dancing stops. The ceremony will begin. We will take you down the river, the maze of rocks, where you will be tied to the sacrificial pillar. Conan cannot be far behind, so we'll leave him a trail leading right to you. <laughs> and you, Sotley is here and alive. We no longer need you. Zaya wants you for a child, so you'll be going with her. I'd rather die at the hands of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> I do not fight the dead. <laughs> Open the gate! 
Boris are down to the tide. Ah, they have escaped. Bar went after them. Bio, you stay here with them. I am going after Bar. you have done. Listen to me, barbarian. I will pay for nothing. Your head shall rest on a pole outside my chamber. 
and I will watch it grow moldy and rot away like the body of your Tamira. <laughs> I still live. I cannot be destroyed. So why are you here? Do you fear me that much? I fear nothing. Then show yourself. Face to face. Your next vision of me will be on the day of your funeral. Shortly before your painful last breath. That is not my destiny. By Krom, I will live to destroy you and free these people. Krom does not rule me. He will. With the sword of Atlantis. Look for me. I will be coming for you. What will you do now? I think I'll go back to the compound. Pick the place clean, see if I can steal enough to start a tavern. Sell grog, I'll call it. The blind man's in. A wise idea. <laughs> I want to thank you again. And tell you that you will always be welcome in the villages near the White Stone Mountains. Do they have women there who favor small men with beards? They have women there that favor fine men. I will miss you. I will miss you too, Rabbit. And I want to thank you for having faith in me. I will try to grow up and be as great as you. Stay out of snakes. Well, I've learned one thing from all of this. Aye, and what is that? The beast was uglier than you. <laughs> Not by that much. <laughs> <laughs>